So in the last video, I told you all that I had some stress in my life back in August that made me gain a little weight, and I'm sure I know why it is, so I'm going to tell you about it right now. Somehow, somebody had got a hold of one of my checks and tried to wipe my account out. Yeah, that was pretty rough. I had needed gas in my car at the time, and of course I would get a flat tire, so I needed to get my tire fixed. And me being the proud, independent, I don't want to ask anybody for help type of person that I am, I was a little bit embarrassed and felt some type of way for asking my husband for a little bit of help until I could get it all sorted out. But anyways, during that time, you know, I'm sitting here trying to figure out, well, now I got to go ahead and contact all these people that I have bills that I pay to and let them know what's going on, you know the um light company gas company cable and all those other people and as i told you before i'm doing healthy wagers so they take a small amount of money from me every month and i'm betting on myself to lose this weight i let them know what was going on and you know when you call people and let them know what's going on asking for that help again they're willing to help you out so i told them what was going on and just let me say when I was there in that situation what I did was I ate my feelings and you know I, I didn't really think I was eating that much and when you look at the scale you'd be like oh you only gained about two and a half pounds no big deal but to me that's a big deal it's my mission to be on a journey to go ahead and get down to being healthy enough that I can see myself the way I was at a point in time when I felt I looked my best so with all that being said I'm going to insert a picture of me when I did that photo shoot at the Art of Boudoir Seduction. <laughs> you ain't gonna see nothing that you ain't never seen before, but whatever. And that's when I felt like I was my best. I weighed 165 pounds in that photo, so that's where I would like to be, but I know I could weigh less. To be textbook healthy, the textbook people and professionals that think they know it all say that I should weigh like 140. I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to look like a crackhead. So that's where I'm headed right now. I'm gonna go to the gym and get my steps in because I feel really, really, really good when I walk and listen to music. And after the walk is done and I've sweated a good amount, I feel pretty good. So I made that video, what was it? September 8th, I believe. And I posted it and you know, I've been in the gym trying to get my steps in because I'm doing a, a step challenge also. So my weight's going up and down, up and down. We're going to see where I'm at. I'm trying to stay off the scale. I wear the waist beads, and, you know, I really like those because when you eat too much, they kind of roll up on you. But when you're losing weight, they drop down on a nice spot. I'm probably going to post a video because I got a few more in the mail, and I really, really like them. They're so cute. And I'll put one of them on me so you can see exactly where it is, and then by the time I'm down to where I need to be, you're going to see how they drop down. Waist speeds are a fun, easy way to stay off the scale and quit stressing about that number. So, you know, ladies, if you want to give that a try, waist speeds are the way to go for now. But yeah, looking at that number on the scale can be quite discouraging. It's like Colleen Marie said in one of her videos, the scale can only tell you three numbers. That's it. It ain't going to tell you whether you got water weight on you, whether it's that time of the month, whether you're constipated or whatever, but it's only three numbers. Yes, it would be nice to see that number constantly go down, but when you're doing alternate day fasting, just know that your weight will go up and it will go down. And I'm okay with that. I really am. You know, sometimes some people be like, oh my God, I'm at a plateau. My weight loss is stalling. What am I doing wrong? You're not doing anything wrong. Your body is just getting used to you making the changes. Just trust the process keep doing it keep doing what you're doing incorporate some exercise me I'm not a bodybuilder I don't like lifting weights and like I said earlier I don't like asking for help so when I'm at the gym I'm not gonna ask the guys to help me lift a weight or watch me squat uh-uh no 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 the only person we're gonna let watch me squat is my husband <laughs> he's a great guy I really love him he gives me those little forehead kisses and say it's okay sweetie I got you but anyways let me get on inside, put my earbuds in, and listen to some music and see if I can get a whole lot of steps in. My goal is to do at least an hour and a half on the treadmill. These treadmills on here do not have marathon mode, and that's fine. But, you know, about a mile, maybe four miles, we'll see. I want to get more than 10,000 steps in. For me, that, that makes me feel good. So until the next video, let me know what you think about my little photo that's going to be up there somewhere. Or... <sighs> what you think because I'm telling you stress can make you do things that you are ashamed of but whatever you're human get over it keep moving trust the process if you fall down get back up <laughs> why stay on the ground forever don't be an idiot 
just get out there and do what you know what's working and for me alternate day fasting works you just gotta stop don't eat the ice cream put the fork down pray yourself the 23rd songs and know that it will be okay and for that asshole that got my check and took it and tried to wipe my account out I got a jar of dirt just for you don't worry about it <laughs> don't worry about it you're gonna get yours until the next one see y'all I just got done in the gym. Whew. I was in there for about two hours just walking. Walking is all I do. But you know, I just wanted to add to what I was saying earlier. You know, with ADF, all you have to do is watch the way you eat every other day. I generally do just Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but I'm determined to get this weight off of me. So it's my mission to do true ADF and every other day I'm not going to eat and then I will eat and I'm going to eat whatever I want. Who cares about carbs and all of that stuff? I'm going to have my coffee. Y'all know I love my coffee. I'm putting sugar and cream in there and I'm going to enjoy it. But, you know, weekends are challenging, so we shall see. But anyways, yeah, just wanted to put that on there. And yeah, I had changed my shirt because when I'm working out, I wear these sweat activated shirts. But today just happened to be a day that I sweat down my back and not my front. So I have no idea what the message was on there. So anyways, thanks for watching. And if you have any music that you all would like to recommend for a playlist so that when I'm walking, I can listen to a song that's kind of upbeat and gives me motivation to keep on walking because, you know, after a while, you will get tired. Walking is walking. But it's good exercise, so leave them down below. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. Let me know what you all think. Thank you.